Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on FNAF. The FNAF plushie is here! The official makeshift FNAF plushie is here if you want it. The link is in the description. We need to sell 200 of these plushies for this campaign to happen. You are not going to receive a plushie. This is not going to happen if we don't sell 200 of them. So if you haven't yet, go down to the link in the description. Pick yourself up a plushie. It is worldwide shipping. It should be a flat rate for shipping. Same shipping price for everyone around the world. And I'll make a bet with you. If we sell 400 of these plushies by 11.59 p.m. EST on Wednesday, tomorrow, I will do a 12-hour live stream and I will give away a copy of FNAF Security Breach when it comes out. So if you want all that stuff to happen, make sure you go to the link in the description and pick up one of these plushies. Makeship is a great company. This is a great quality plushie and I'm happy to be working with them. Anyways, let's get into the video, shall we? In this video, we're going to be talking about FNAF news and it's actually pretty major news because there are some crazy things that have been popping up in the past few days. There is news that has to do with Security Breach, the FNAF movie, and a new possible trailer for Security Breach, maybe, possibly, who knows? But yeah, if you want to hear all about that and get fully updated on everything FNAF, make sure you watch to the very end of the video and make sure you subscribe with the post notification bell on so you know the next time I post a brand new video. Let's get into the video. Here we go. So first up, we have some news about Security Breach. King Carter on Twitter says Chris McCullough, voice actor of Foxy and more, hints at Foxy's return in Security Breach. A chatter on his live stream says, Foxy, how do you feel about not being in Security Breach? Chris says, just because I may not have a voice, it doesn't mean that I may not be in it. King goes on to say that it's possible that Chris has no idea what's happening in Security Breach, but the way he answered this question seems deliberately suspicious. It could mean that Chris has voiced sound effects for Foxy or maybe even a different character that talks about Foxy in their dialogue. So my personal opinion about this is that he might be hinting at something, but I just don't think he is. I think this is him saying, yeah, I didn't voice anything in Security Breach, but he may show up in Security Breach. Just because he doesn't have a voice doesn't mean he may not show up. And I think that's him just being like, oh, you know, I'm not in it, but maybe Foxy is. Who knows? But a lot of the voice actors from FNAF have been hinting at their involvement with Security Breach, and it's been very interesting to see them tweet all of these hints out. I just don't think this is one of those hints, but maybe it is. Maybe Foxy will show up, but I think this is him clearly saying that he has not voiced Foxy in Security Breach, but that's just me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, on to the next piece of news. Here we go. So, another piece of news from our friend Kane Carter. Uh, there has been new appearances of Foxy in the FNAF Plus Breaking and Entering short film. So, if you don't remember, there was a Breaking and Entering short film as part of the marketing for FNAF Plus, which is a FNAF remake uh, slash reimagining of the the first FNAF game that is part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. Wow, that was a mouthful. And people have just been finding Easter eggs from the breaking and entering thing where Foxy appears in almost every major shot of the video. You would just have to go into Photoshop and raise the brightness and stuff, but yeah, he's there in every shot and I'll show you the pictures right now. So this is all of the shots where Foxy is visible in the breaking and entering short. Well, he's kind of visible, but you know, he you have to brighten it up. But uh, it's very interesting that these are just now coming out. You'd think that everyone has already brightened up every single image in every frame of this trailer, but I guess not. And it's just really cool to see that Foxy has been there the whole time, even though his first kind of full reveal was on Daco's charity live stream. But there's some news about FNAF Plus. I'm so excited about FNAF Plus. I hear that the production's doing really well. So hopefully that will be coming early next year, but we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Make sure you subscribe and let's move on to the next piece of news. It's a major one. So this next piece of news has to do with the FNAF movie. And I know what you're saying, John, you have made so many videos about the FNAF movie. When are you going to shut up about it? My answer is never. So as you probably know at this point, Jason Blum is the founder of Blumhouse Productions, which is the production studio that is making the FNAF movie. And fairly recently in the past two months, uh, there is news that the FNAF movie has been delayed and that the director has left the movie and there's going to be some script changes. And that was really disappointing news because we thought the FNAF movie was filming in spring of 2021 and it is now winter of 2021 and we still haven't heard anything about this movie. I don't think they actually filmed in spring. I think it is actually delayed, but we got some interesting news from Jason Blum on Twitter. Jason Blum just tweets out on December 5th, oh God, someone responds saying the FNAF movie ain't coming anytime soon. Jason Blum responds with, never say never. This could mean a lot of things. I don't think Jason Blum is fully aware of how the FNAF fandom operates, but when we hear something like this, we kind of go crazy with it. We go running with it. All of the replies below are, are saying, oh my God, is the FNAF movie coming out tomorrow? Is the FNAF movie coming out next year? Is it coming out in two months? People are super excited by this news because this is the only piece of FNAF news we've gotten in a long time. This could be a couple things. One, it could be him just trying to stay positive and just being like, ah, oh, never say never. It could come out one day. Two, this could be him hinting at something big coming. Maybe they already filmed the movie and it was in secret. Maybe there's a trailer coming soon. 
Maybe not. Number three, maybe in the past two months, they got a new director, they fixed the script, and they're planning to film spring of 2022. I don't know, but this is some big news in just three words in a tweet. <laughs> My guess is that they have not filmed the movie yet. Maybe they're planning on filming spring 2022. I don't know if they've gotten a new director yet. I don't know if that would be public knowledge if they got a new director. It's all just up in the air, but I thought I'd share this with you because this is one of the only times Jason Blum has spoken out about the FNAF movie. So I found this really interesting, and I want to hear your theories in the comments below. Do you think the FNAF movie is coming soon? Do you think they already filmed it? Do you think they're going to film it soon? Do you think this is never going to come out? Let me know in the comments below. And let's move on to the final piece of news, and it's a pretty big one. Here we go. So Jeff Keighley is directly involved with the Game Awards. He is majorly involved with the Game Awards, and he has been putting out some cryptic tweets about the Game Awards that has led people to believe that Security Breach may show up in it in one way or another. This is the first tweet and he said 72 hours until showtime and then a bunny rabbit emoji. It's just such an interesting emoji and a weird emoji to put in this tweet. Why the bunny? Why the bunny? Why the bunny? It's probably FNAF. It's probably FNAF. And it's funny because I thought the security breach marketing was pretty much done. I thought that trailer that we got was the last trailer and that was it. But it looks like we may be getting more from FNAF security breach. Maybe a new trailer, maybe some gameplay screenshots, gameplay footage. But we will have to see on Thursday, December 9th on the Game Awards. I will let you know what happens if anything major comes out saying that security breach will be in the event. Maybe we'll react to it live on this channel. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But there is also another tweet on this and he said, are we having fun yet? He 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 he. If you think you've heard that line before, you probably have because Vanny said that in one of the security breach teasers at the end of the Freddy and Friends on Tour last episode. Vanny leans forward in the final seconds of the last Freddy and Friends on Tour episode and says, are you having fun yet? Are you having fun yet? Oh my god! And I don't know if he's directly quoting Vanny. That is kind of a, you know, a, a familiar phrase. It's, Vanny didn't invent the phrase, but it's very interesting that these two tweets are very paralleled to FNAF. It'll be very interesting to see what the Game Awards has in store. If you don't care about the Game Awards, I will make sure to let you know what is in it if FNAF shows up. If there's a new big trailer, you know I'll be reacting to it and analyzing it the minute it goes up. But yeah, that's all the FNAF news I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it. Go pick up the plushie, makeshift.com. Link is in the description. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for all your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.